What a bracha already! I'm feeling the first raindrops of the year! Thank you, Hashem! There's no better time we could have chosen to come together right now and pray together and to go up on Harabait than now on Sukkot. Why? What is Sukkot? Zman Simchatenu, the time of our greatest joy. And what brings us here if not joy? You know, while everybody here is welcome, there's a reason we issued a special invitation to English-speaking Olim. We said, did you make Aliyah? Then make Aliyah to Harabait, because there's something beautiful about that Aliyah. What's so beautiful is that it's fueled not by running away, not by running away from poverty or persecution, but running towards, embracing, desire, yearning, love. And that's exactly what brings us here right now. Desire, love, yearning. We're here to send a very clear message. Not to the Israeli government, this is not a political thing. We're here to send a very clear message to Hashem. To Hashem, Abba! We're ready! We're ready, we're here, we're back. We're back, the Kotel, we love the Kotel, but it's not enough anymore. It's not enough, we want the Beit HaMikdash. We want a relationship, we've learned our lesson. We've learned our lesson that it's not a building, it's a relationship, and we want that relationship with you. And it's not just for us, it's on behalf of the entire world. Hashem, all of the nations, there's so much pain, there's so much sorrow, there's so much war and hate. Please, you said, v'shachanti betocham. We build you a sanctuary and you'll dwell within us. Circumcise our hearts, Hashem. Mol et levavenu. Allow this time to be a time of building the Beit HaMikdash in love for all of humanity. So thank all of you for coming. May this be mevorach. Man. You know, we were all singing Am Yisrael Chai, and we saw Ethiopian Jews walking here, and Russian Jews walking here, and all of Am Yisrael that was literally under the ground, dead in the exile, resurrected from the dead, and now making the first steps towards Harabait. It could be that most of them are still going to the Kotel, but they've come from the four corners of the earth to come here to celebrate together. And now look how many of the nations have come. Are we seeing this actually happening in our lifetime? The first beginning steps of Mashiach can be heard now. In 1967, we had it. It was in our hands. It was like a miraculous war. Whoever heard of a six-day war, it never happened before. Why wasn't it built then? Zachariah says, Lo b'chayim velo b'choach, ki'im beruchi amar Hashem. The Beit HaMikdash is not going to be built, not through power and not through might, but through His Spirit. How are we to accomplish that today? Without a bullet, just by going up and praying. The more people that go up and pray, our world accepts every narrative known to man, except the actual narrative of history, the narrative of God, the narrative of the Bible. Our feet walking up on Harabait is the narrative and the unfolding of our history and our destiny. And so although Ari and I can't go up for reasons that we all know, that a Jew still can't pray on Harabait in 2017, as we've just now entered into the new year, Jews and the righteous among the nation, we still can't pray with our mouths, but we can pray with our feet and we can pray with our hearts. And so thank you all for coming here today and taking our prayers up with you and taking our hopes up with you. And may this be a sign of the times that we're living in. Literally the first rains of the year were felt as we all came here together singing Am Yisrael Chai, the nation of Israel lives and that our father is still alive. And as he reigns his blessing upon us, we should know as we see the exiles returning from Israel, literally a vision from the Bible in front of our eyes, that we're living in the greatest time in human history. And we should all be blessed to dance together, not down here, but next year up there.